Suchashuda, with every pure bhavana, with every pure action I do, Vasmana Vasmi, give me the mind which is free, which has stopped all the chitta vrittis. Vasu Stambhi, Vasmana. In this way, Yajna itself is connected with Agni. And if you go even further in the Vedas, Jeeva Raja Mejave is the Yajna of life. What does this Yajna mean in an assortment sense? What does it mean? There we come to Yajna and submitting our thoughts. Kritam, Amanisha, we see in the Veda, Amanisha, there are mental impulses represent Krita and Veda. Our thoughts that are like Kritam, our actions that are like summit to this Vindra universe of the growing it, nurturing it, bringing it forward. And it is through this Vindra universe of the through this Yajna, that we go and communicate with all the other Devadas. As the Vedas say, your Devanam Janivan Veda, it is through Yajna that you understand the sources of the other Devadas, Devanam Janivan. In this way, Agni, by dedicating one's own thoughts, one's own actions to universal welfare, working towards that universal welfare, one slowly attains Chitta Shuddhi. One slowly becomes more and more healthy, one's thoughts become more and more pure. And eventually, one grows spiritually through this worship of life by internalizing this Yajna. In fact, if we see an external nature, Yajna itself is a cause of universal welfare. Shatamayam Dhruva Maharada Pashyam. Vishu Vata Para Hena Varena That we see Ukshana Krishna Apachanta Bhirava Tani Dharmani Uthamanya Sarana These were the Prime Dharmas What were they? Shakamayam Dhupa Maharada Pashyam The smoke made of Kauda Shakamayam Dhupa Through that smoke Vishu Vata Para Hena Varena When it pervades Through it it purifies It cultures the nature Ukshana Krishna Apachanta Bhirava In this way the Upasakas They are Cleaning the sky, Ukshana, Krishna, Mahachanda, Viraha. And that is the Pahim Dharma. Pahim Dharma, Sakhamanya, Sarvaya. In this way, Yajna, in external nature itself, is the middle of the universe of the itself is the universe of the world. And as I said previously, these external natures, the internal nature of Kanya. So, looking at these connections, we can see means further how this external Yajna spurs forward the internal Yajna. In this way, through this Vrinda universal Vrinda, we give a progress further. Like I said, Janumani Vrinda, Devanam Vrinda, we give a progress further to the sources of these Devatas. The next such Devata we can see is Indra. Indra, when we see in the Veda, there are a lot of words associated with Indra. One is strength, Shabdha, Sahasaha, Sahasaha. He is associated with might, Sahasaha, the tolerant power, Sahamashan, tolerance. Sahasaha means Shakti as well, the tolerant power. Sahasaha, Shabdhaya, in this way Indra is associated with strength. In the same way Indra is associated with another few words. Vritram, Pargam, Pana, Pala, Dasyu, so on and so forth. These is generally breaking these, not destroying these, not killing these. Pana, Pala, Dasyu, so on and so forth. And again, Indra itself has a little lot of peace. Vidhi, Parameshwar, he denotes master. Now, in external nature, Indra represents the thermal energy through which the clouds are broken and the water in the form of rain flows. We can see this in Yattiraha Bhavakam Rajaha Akasu Atishtipaha. That basically the Rajaha, the water, the Rajaha means Uddhatam, the water that has been gathered from all directions. O oh, Indra, you are breaking it and Akasu, you are pervading it, bring it all around to all the directions. Akasu Atishtipaha. In this way, in Adi Bhutika, in this natural sense, we can see Indra. Adhyatmika, when we come to assortment meaning, the word Niparameshwar tells, tells us what Indra is. Indra is the strength behind mastery. The mastery of thoughts and the mastery of senses. Through that strength, one advances spiritually. There we see what Vritra and Pana always mean. When we go to Vritra, as per Yastas Nirukta, it means bring Varanak, that which blocks, that which is an obstacle. Dasyu literally means thief, stealing tendencies in Adhyatma. Pana means the materialistic tendencies. That generally Pana means those who are materialists. But we can see the Vedas that it means materialistic tendencies. In Vedic Mantras we see Panehe Manisha or Rakshasam Manisha. In this way, these are the stealing tendencies, the materialistic tendencies. Pala in this covering. In this way, these are the enemies of this mastery of the senses. Through one's mastery of the senses, one breaks through these coverings to further release the Gaudu, the sun rays, and release the flow of water, Apa, 
Here Apaha is potentials internally and Sandra is represent the base of consciousness. In this way, Indra with the basis of universal welfare, Vaishwanarasya, we see that mantra Vaishwanarasya Shamasama, the strength is a strength based on universal welfare. With that strength, one can progress further in the spiritual sadhana. Through control, through strength, one can progress further in the spiritual sadhana. The two I just talked about, they are continuous in the stream towards Nagarjuna. If you see in Bhagavad Gita, the very concept of Yajna is mistake. Sahayajna prajasthva, go vacha prajapati, anena prasavishyatva, esha vos pushta kamatva, devam bhavayatara nena, te devam bhavayatva, parasparam bhavayantaha, shreya param avapsyata. Here again, Krishna is talking about this Yajna and how by doing this Yajna, by working for this Yajna, by going through this yajna, by his actions, Devan Bhavayatanena, internalizing these devas, Bhavayatanena, Te Devan Bhavayatanena, through the spiritual act of working selflessly, through Karma Yoga in a sense, Karma Yoga itself can be derived right from this Vedic Yajna, through this Karma Yoga, continue to live your life, devote yourself selflessly. In the same way, for Indra, when you look at the strength of the senses, I would be, it would be, you know, I have to say that it is everywhere. The restraint of senses is in probably all darshanas and all insights of Sanatana in the Everywhere we go, Yoga Sutra, Vedanta, so on and so forth, Indri and Nigra bring back your senses, mastering your senses. That insight is everywhere. And that insight makes Sanatana Dharma itself unique. Every school of thought has taken Indri and Dhamana in We see in Yoga, Yoga Sutra, Tathaparana, Vashyata, Indriyana, Pratyahara. Itself is defined as Vashyatara Indriyana, the Vashikarana of Indriyas. In this way, this esoteric meaning of Indra also, this Tantu, the string of spirituality, continues forward with Indra as well. As you go and see Agni Indra, as you go and see Agni Indra, we come to the concept of bliss. So, Pama, the purifier, through this flow of bliss, through this flow of Ananda, Soma also makes himself known. This Ananda can be seen throughout Bhakti Sutras everywhere. Sunota Madhavattanam Soma Indraya Vajrani. He flows for this Indra, for this mastery. In this way, Soma is known. In this way, these three Devatas, they are in Adhikotva and Adhyatika, the representations are inextricably tied together. They are bound together. And by representing these in the Vedas, one can go for the spiritual. This is how to live a Vedic life. Yulama Trinam Rajasthi Shasmi. That this Veda Mantra it talks about how the Vedic Devatas have created a path for us. Swasti Mantra Manchanena Surya Chandra Sahamila by following the path set by the sun and moon, by following the path of these Devatas, they will prosper spiritually. Before I end, I want to add that this paper was done based on a Vedic commentary, Dhamdika, which, which examines the Vedic Mantras in this fashion, looks at every Vedic Mantra and spiritual meaning, spiritual connotation, and also based on a book Veda and Passion, which this is our bridge version of this. It takes the essences of this and puts these insights forth in the form of English. Thank you for your time. See you now.